Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am Carla. I live here in Liverpool in the United Kingdom with my husband Darren and our cat Thomas. So today is the 29th of June 2024 and um, this is my crochet and knitting catch up with you all to show you how I've been getting on with the projects that I've been doing and I've got some uh, yarn to show you which will be going into my shop and I'll pop that at the end of this video. So uh, my first whip that I'm going to show you is um, my crochet granny squares that I was previously doing in my pre in the other video that I showed you. So the yarn I use for the first set of squares I'm going to show you is this. CCBB, I never know how to pronounce that, um, Sweetie Colours it's called, it's anti-pilling, it's 100 grams, 3.5 3 ounces, it's 265 metres, 290 yards, it's a 3 weight which is DK and it's beautiful. So I've managed out of, out of two balls, I've completed the first one all the way through and used it in, I con continued with it when I was using the second ball. This is what I have left out of the second ball, so I couldn't get a full square out of it. So I've managed to do 15 squares. Uh, there's six rounds each, and I've bordered them with Red Heart Super Saver in the colourway white. So, um, as you can see, they're really pretty. All ends sewn in. That's the back. I just need to block them when I get round to it. So that's 15 completed. I'm also obviously carrying on making granny squares. Uh, the next lot of granny squares I'm going to show you, I'm using this Papatia, Papatia Batik yarn. It is it's 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 360 meters, 393 yards. It's DK. There are all the beautiful colours. So pretty. So this is my second ball, but this is where we're at with the first ball. I'm pulling, doing centre pull. And I've completed five squares so far. That's one. Oops. I think they're so pretty with the way that they've come out. And there's the start of number six. So I'm using a four millimetre hook. So I've got two knitting whips to show you. The first one is my mitered square. I'm using um, different coloured minis that I've got in my stash. So there's four. Now we're down to eight. So last time I showed I showed you this about three weeks ago. I was doing this beautiful square here, so that's all finished now. I've completed eleven and twelve. Is that right? Two, four, six, eight, eight. Yes, yeah, so that's it blocks 
11 and 12. I'm on block 13. And my little pussycat stitch marker. This is the colour of the mini that I'm putting in at the moment. So that's going to look really pretty. And that's the next one I'll be putting in. I have a tote box full of uh, minis that I'm just using. And I just get my husband, Darren, to pick me out four. And I just add them in. So that's what I'm doing. So my second knitting whip is a pair of socks. So last time I showed you where my progress on the first sock, I know that I was, I'd completed the cuff and I was part way up the leg. Well, it's done. Yay. It's all done. So really pretty toe. I did 50 rounds of the foot. I've done a shadow wrap heel. I did 50 rounds of the leg and I've done 15 rounds of the cuff. And I'm totally impressed with myself because I never thought that I'd ever be able to knit a sock. I've, I've seen so many people knitting socks and I've I've just never thought I'll be able to do that. I mean, the con trying to understand the construction of it I was mind-blowing. So I'm so impressed that I've managed to complete one. And I'm on the second one. So I've got the cuff done on the second one, 15 rounds of the cuff. This is the 20 gram mini that you I got with the, the yarn. And as you can see, I'm already on the, the leg. So hopefully when I do my next video for you, hopefully this will be done. I'm hoping anyway. So, and this yarn is just gorgeous. Sock weight is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. And it, it's just absolutely beautiful. This is the this is the hundred gram skein I started out with. The yarn is from Helen at Giddy Knits. That's her podcast here on YouTube. I shall drop Helen's YouTube channel down in the box for you below. Uh, now for shop update so my shop update is a small one it's only sock sock yarn that i will be showing you that i'm adding my shop is called three seas yarn it is it's on shopify um i shall put the link for it in the description box for you below um i have a facebook group called three seas yarn but on Facebook, it doesn't let you do a number for the channel. So it's in words. Um, I shall link that below for you. I'm also on Instagram under three C's yarn as well. So I shall put that in the description box for you as well. So so as quite a lot of people say it is what it is i think people say it so often and don't realize that they're actually saying it so i thought what a good idea to dye some yarn and call it it is what it is so this is the 20 gram mini in the this color is vanilla cream and this is the sock sock yarn Oops. go 
gorgeous. So this is called It Is What It Is. Next I have Pandora. This The mini is golden yellow. And this is Pandora. Absolutely gorgeous. Then we have these next four uh, sock that I'm going to show you um, are all named after uh, in, and inspired by uh, Greek gods. So this is Hades. And then we have, this is Zeus. This is Neptune. And my last one from a shop, this is Poseidon. And that's my shop update for you so i hope you have enjoyed my video if you have please like and subscribe to my channel uh, please take a look at my shop uh, my instagram the facebook group for the shop i'd really appreciate it and i hope you're all having a great day great weekend and i'll see you all soon in my next video bye